Do you want to break your brain? I mean it in a good way. Take apart and put it back together better than new. So the other day I stumbled upon a video of Roy Haynes and his band performing at the club. But now get this, the man is 95 years young. Let that sink in. Most people, if they're even lucky to reach that age, play bingo. But apparently some play jazz. And what do you think was the first thought? The first question that came to my mind? Here's a clue. You are watching Living a Smart channel where we talk about living a long, healthy and happy life. And keeping our brains sharp is literally one of our top goals here. And since we are all about research and facts, my first thought was about how playing music affects our thinking skills. What does the research say? How does it help with memory loss diseases like dementia, Alzheimer's? And the second thing I thought about, and that's what I'm going to share in this video as well, is what lessons can we learn from the musicians to add the little extra to sprinkle into our own lives. How can we make life not just longer, but more interesting and fun as well? Let's go! <laughs> in the town of Imagineton, two amazing twins were born. Jack and Ray. It was a small town, so they pretty much had the same life. Married, had kids and were generally healthy. Except by the time Jack was 70, he started to lose his memory. But Ray was still sharp as a tack. One simple brain test they use to check memory health, the executive function, is the Luria test. It goes like this. Fist, edge, palm. Fist, edge, palm. Or you can do it backwards. Palm, edge, fist. Palm, edge, fist. I did this with my dad. I haven't recorded it, but here's what it looks like. Feels like dealing with a big kid. Sweet, but a little sad. But we are here to do all we can to avoid that. And that's when I found this super interesting, at least to me, and I hope to you, study about twins and dementia. Correlation doesn't imply causation. But sometimes, sometimes, it implies a lot of fun. And that's good enough. <laughs> Here's a bit more of a challenge. The Luria test, but with both hands at the same time. Now, let's try it together. It should be straightforward. Palm, edge, fist. Palm, edge, fist. It's like secret handshake. <laughs> One, two, three. Easy, right? But it's just a warm-up before the real exercises, like stretching before workout. So, what made our twins different? It turned out Ray played music. He was a drummer. But was it just luck or is there something to it? The scientists wondered. What if you look at all the twins where one played music and one didn't. What would we find? And while they're figuring that out, here's your first real challenge. We did one, two, three with both hands together. But now let's mix it up. Palm here, fist there. Same movements as before, but one hand is delayed, almost like it's catching up, like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three. Feeling the burn? <laughs> there is more to come. It should feel challenging, just like a workout that pushes you to your limits. Because then it builds up you stronger and better. And just like that, but with your brain. You meant to feel a little bit uncomfortable. But it's worth it because after looking at all those twins, it turns out that playing an instrument makes you 64% less likely to forget where you put your keys. Or was it glasses? <laughs> Either way, you're winning. Improved coordination and progressive overload works for your brain just like it does for your muscles. Now I'll show you the next step, almost the musician level, and throw in a bit of Led Zeppelin for fun. <laughs> the best part, you can do it almost anywhere, on a bus, in a line, anytime you'd normally just zone out on your phone, some might think it looks silly, but remember, one of our fundamentals here is not to take yourself seriously. It's better to look a bit silly now than to be demented when you're older. 
once you get that previous exercise together and it becomes easy, try adding a fourth move. Let's call it knuckles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But the other hand keeps doing three. One, two, three, one, two, three. If you're counting this right, it should line up every 12 moves. Three times four equals 12. So let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One. <laughs> oh. If your brain feels like it's doing gymnastics, that's the point. So let's turn Kashmir on and try it. Keeping three quarter time. Da 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 let me know how it goes. I just love it. It's one of my new favorite micro exercises. Great addition to the list. Not sure if you saw it or not, but a few months ago I went on Reddit and asked 2 million people to give me their favorite micro exercises. Here's a whole video dedicated to the best of them to make you live longer and better, but with practically zero time investment. Living is smart, aging is bad, and I'll see you there.